the fake news gets busted again for pushing their nonsense because the president of the United States takes a common sense approach to a question that he receives. They take it and spin it in all different directions. And now he is justified in his concerns. If you remember, Donald Trump was asked a direct question about the peaceful transfer of power. And this was his answer. Win, lose, or draw in this election. Will you commit here today for a peaceful transferal of power after the election? And there has been rioting in Louisville. There's been rioting in many cities across this country, red and your so-called red and blue states. Will you commit to making sure that there is a peaceful transferal of power after the election? Well, we're going to have to see what happens. You know that I've been complaining very strongly about the ballots, and the ballots are a disaster. I and, understand that, but and, people are rioting. Do you commit oh, to making sure that there's a no, peaceful wanna, transfer of power? We want to have get rid of the ballots, and you'll have a very trans. We'll have a very peaceful. There won't be a transfer, frankly. There'll be a continuation. Uh, the ballots are out of control. You know it, and you know who knows it better than anybody else. The Democrats know it better than anybody else. Go ahead. Yep, they do, and they don't care. And. So we heard that. Then we see uh, the mainstream media goes crazy. Uh, President Trump is declining to commit to a peaceful transfer of power if he loses uh, the November 3rd election. Uh, And then they quote that. And then there's this meltdown in the comments. You have this MSNBC beta male, Kyle Griffin. Trump is lying again about mail-in voting. It is not a scam as he describes it. That is a lie. Boom, boom, boom. Well, look at there. Military mail-in ballots cast for Trump discarded in Pennsylvania. Federal investigation finds out. Boom. Again, Trump knows what he's talking about. The common sense people in America know what we're talking about. We know that there is a corrupt system. We know that they are willing to do anything and everything they can to get rid of Donald Trump. They will do anything. They will say anything. They will invent any story. They will go to any length. We have seen this over the past four years. We have seen them invent story after story after story and run with narrative after narrative after narrative. Regardless if there was truth or not, regardless if there was any meat on the bone or not, we have seen the mainstream. We have seen the corruption from Hollywood. Would we have seen the politicians go with anything and everything they can to destroy Trump all based on TDS Trump derangement syndrome is a real thing. He doesn't even I, I love how when the lockdown happened, they all these people that claimed he was this evil dictator. They then got mad because he wasn't a dictator. He literally left it up to the government, the governors of the states. And they got mad at him. They're like, Trump needs to Trump needs to step in and do something. It's like, you're the one that said he was going to be this evil dictator. And now you're mad because he's not a dictator? Because he's allowing the governors to do their job? It's unbelievable, man. The derangement is out of control. So again, the mainstream is going to continue to push nonsense. Trump knows that he is facing an uphill battle right now. He knows he is facing corruption in every aspect, whether that's the government, whether that's the media, whether it's Hollywood, whether it's these uh, these people that are behind the scenes pushing money into different places to create uprising and problems all over the country. He knows what's going on. He knows the battle he's facing. And so, so so does so many millions, tens of millions of Americans right now watching this situation. So this was not a widespread thing. I think it was like nine uh, ballots, but nine ballots being discarded is a problem when you start to see that it's one investigation found. Nine ballots, all for Donald Trump discarded. That is not a coincidence. It's absolutely not a coincidence. So we're going to continue to see a lot of crazy stories. And again, I've told you, I've told you this over and over again, and I'll continue to tell you, we have no idea what we're in store for. The craziness is going to be off the charts. We have seen for four years, we have seen epic meltdowns from across the board from people claiming anything and everything. And now that we're this close to the election, They are going to invent every single boogeyman story they possibly can to try and get Trump out of office. They are are going for broke. They are going to do anything. They have no line they will not cross. 
There is nothing, there is nothing that's going to stop them from going all in. And we just have to be prepared for that. It is a real thing. TDS is the real threat that we are facing right now. It's not the beer bug. It's not this other thing or that other thing they want to invent. It's TDS. TDS is the real disease that's out there that has affected so many Americans. And it has ruined so many people. And they have woke up every day for the past four years just crying about Trump and blaming all of their problems on Trump. I have never seen anything like it. It is absolutely incredible. But we are heading for some crazy, crazy times these next few weeks. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later.